G'day Ziggy D here with another Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls beta video for you guys. I've had quite a few requests to uh, show off the new Paragon system, uh, the rewards you get for it, and just talk a bit about how it works. And I also have some balance thoughts to share with you guys after having played around with this new system and tested it on a few different characters, both higher levels, so level 60 plus, and also brand new characters like my Crusader that I'm currently on, who is uh, only level 52 and I've leveled him up from level, level 1. So uh, the, the core of it is that the uh, Paragon levels you have in Diablo 3 vanilla, so Diablo, the Paragon 1.0, will convert over to the new Paragon 2.0 system uh, when Reaper of Souls, the uh, 2.0 patch comes out. So this might actually be a little bit before Reaper of Souls, I believe. But uh, basically, uh, your all of your Paragon experience from across all of your characters that have Paragon experience is going to get combined together into one total and then converted over to this new system. So... It's not going to be one-to-one. -one. If you have a, a character with a Paragon 100, then you have another character with Paragon 150, you're not going to have 150 levels in the new system. You might have something like 130 or 120 or something like that. Basically, all the experience itself gets grouped up and then converted over to the new system and uh, with expanding amount of experience needed for each uh, each sequential level. So you need more and more experience as you progress through each of these levels. So that makes sense. Like someone with 10 Paragon 100 characters, Characters, it might have something like uh, there's actual figures of it and I'll put a spreadsheet down in the description below so you guys can actually calculate this out if you want to find out how many you'd have in the new system but you might get something like six or seven hundred paragon levels from that so once these are converted over you then get one point per paragon level that are, are given to you to spend on core offensive defensive and utility stats as you can see I have 71 levels here and this is divided up evenly amongst this with uh, a kind of going in order so since I only have 71 not 72 I unfortunately only get 17 utility points and not 18 but uh Core ones, we have Strength, Dexterity, Intelligence, and Vitality, so your main stats. So this is pretty much a no-brainer. You're going to get Strength and Vitality, or if you're a Strength character, or Dexterity, Vitality, or you, maybe you'll just sink it all into Vitality if you want to be more, be more tanky. You can use this, obviously, to make up uh, for lacking in your gear if you haven't been able to pick up much Vitality. It's pretty powerful. Uh, or you can just use it to boost your damage by giving yourself more of your main stats. Now, uh, I'll go and talk about offense before before I talk a little bit about of a balancing issue that I've discovered with this. Offense is those pure offensive stats uh, alongside with cooldown reduction. That's kind of the new one here. We've seen things like attack speed, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage before. Uh, nothing new there. These are your trifecta stats, and you can get each one of those. What I'll actually do in each one of these is I'll show the increments there. So these are all plus 5, as you can see, and each one you level them up. It's plus 10, plus 10, plus 10. So they increment in 5, in plus 5. These ones here... Uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, as you'd imagine. Same deal here, and this critical hit damage is 1% each and cooldown. Uh, cooldown reduction is 0 0.2 as well, so these increment in those sorts of factions, so you can plan out how much you can actually get out of that. Obviously, the cap on each one of these is 50, and uh, there's no cap on the main stats, I don't believe, but there's a cap on each one of these other ones. So, uh, attack speed, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, uh, you can get any of these to boost your damage if you have a a build that relies on procking from crit chance, then you can get that, or if attack speed's really important, then you can get more of that, or again, you can use it to build out weaknesses. The one that I really like, though, is this new cooldown reduction stat, and uh, I've been trying to play around with builds that use a lot of cooldowns, and stacking a lot of this, you can get some of this on your gear now, and you can also get it from this, so being able to get a lot of extra from this uh, is going to help you with those uh, low cooldown time builds. So this is a pretty cool, interesting uh, addition here. Next one is defensive stats, and this is a little bit different from core. You know, although we could get vitality here, we could get life percentage in here. This is a percentage increase of life. This is the same sort of stat we could get on gear, but this is by half a percent each time, so that's pretty powerful. Same deal with armor and dodge percentage chance here as well so you can stack dodge on a character and some other builds like the crusader can even play around a little bit with dodge but uh mostly that's going to be for monk and demon hunter i imagine the next one that's uh really crazy is uh all resist you can get five all resist per point spent in here and this is pretty insane i started this crusader at level one and i thought wow you can get all resist i put like all of my points into all resist at the start there and just nothing could hurt me at the beginning of the game. So this is kind of that balancing issue I'm talking about. Once you have those Paragon levels, your uh, low-level characters that you spend these points on, 
can pretty much Rothal Stomp over everything. Uh, resist all just means you take no damage, especially if you do something like stacking some vitality and then some life. You have a huge amount of uh, extra life at the start of the game. You can like easily triple your life score with just a few points. So uh, very, very powerful at early game. And I don't actually know if this is a big issue or not, uh, because... You know, if people who have Paragon levels already on their account probably aren't too fussed about uh, having a pure leveling experience, and if they can, they can just not spend these points. And uh, I guess it's not really providing much of an advantage, since uh, in ladder systems, this won't be available. There'll be a separate Paragon uh, level for ladders if, and hopefully they do, uh, implement if they implement these new ladder systems. So, I can't imagine having too many issues, but it is there. If you want to take advantage of this leveling a new character, you can do things like put points into resist all, and put lots of points into vitality, and have tons of life and tons of defense, and just not get hurt at all. And then you can just pretty much focus on all DPS gear where you level up. So, all these ones covered. Utility is the last one, and uh, this is pretty cool, having this on a separate tab, because you can get the extra things. Um, I'm not going to lie. I pretty much always get tons of tons of move speed, max out that move speed. There we go, there's a free 8.5% move speed for me, and this stuff alone uh, makes me wish I spent a little bit more time Paragon leveling on my account. So if you guys are still in Diablo 3 Vanilla and don't have Reaper of Souls, do some Paragon levels because you're going to be able to spend it on move speed. Pretty good stuff. Pickup Radius, however, is still really good, and just having like two pickup radius I mean, is a huge deal like if you don't have any pickup radius on your character it's really frustrating so having plus two there is really nice that you can get that outside of your gear and of course you can get extra magic find here if you want to try and increase your chances to get legendaries and such and uh maximum wrath as well so you can get your resource this will obviously change depending on the character so, you guys saw me reset a few times in here. You can reset this anytime you want and uh, reallocate this however you want. So, pretty much the same theme as the normal skills in Diablo 3. If you want to rebuild your character in a different way, then you can easily do that anytime with no cost to your character or to your gold or anything like that. So, uh, it's pretty cool. This is an extra way, an extra layer of depth in how you can build your character. Uh, the extra customization it adds, I'm a really big fan of. The fact that you can do something like uh, stack cooldown reduction or maybe you stack a lot of attack speed if that's really important for you and get you move speed or pick up radius or go for these specific things you have some choices and the more choices the better i think now the other thing to mention is that this is specific to each character you play so here on my uh on my uh, Crusader, I can spend all my points in strength here, but then if I switch over to my Demon Hunter, I can reallocate those points for her as well, and it remembers each one of those. So you can allocate these to each one, and it's just uh, basically the amount of points you have to spend depends on your overall uh, account-wide Paragon level. So the last thing to mention is that uh, once you get into Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls with your level 60 characters, you'll stop accruing Paragon levels until you hit level 70. So you need to uh, go ahead and get your characters to level 70 before you can start getting more Paragon XP. The other thing is it seems like Paragon leveling is a little bit slower in Reaper of Souls than in uh, Diablo 3 Vanilla. And uh, that makes sense in terms of if you think about that as getting higher and higher levels is going to take longer because there's more XP needed for each one. But uh, also just like a lot of the ways of farming seem a little bit slower. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how that plays out. I'm sure people will find more insane ways of leveling and uh, there's already been some quest exploiting and stuff going on But this is the beta and that's what it's all about and uh, hopefully this guys uh, Answers most of your questions about Paragon system. However, if you have any other ones ask them in the comments below I'll check it out and I'll give you guys a response as soon as possible and If you want to request any other Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls beta videos, then uh, go ahead and do that I'm uh, eager to give you guys plenty of coverage of this game. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Ziggy D. Uh, thanks for watching